Yo, update is I talked to my brother. Uh, what? Yeah, y'all. Yo. What? <laughs> ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Hey. I talked to my brother, man. So I, okay. I talked to my brother. And, and I, so what? What happened? Yo. So basically, it was did like, he hear about the interviews? Oh and my all that god. Good? He yo. He let. I mean, it's like yo. My, let me tell you about this. <laughs> He was like, yo, and he told my mom, and you know, my mom, we talked about what my mother said before, but uh -huh. my brother was like, look, you know Chris, Chris don't fuck with us. If Chris gonna do something, he gonna do it big. And nigga, <laughs> you blew up the internet. I'm like, what? I'm like, what you mean? He said, nigga, I've heard from people that I haven't known for 20 years. I haven't heard from 20 years. So, so man, the moral of the story is this. I wanna thank my man here, like I said, this is the truth right here. That's what that's what I call him. You know what I'm saying? The interview. I wanna thank for what he do because y'all, the city of the world and other people around the world, the, and even my probation probation officer said the same. People need to know what's going on in Atlanta. Y'all need to know. What's up, YouTube? I just want to shout out all the members, all the subscribers, and all the supporters. Everybody who shouts me out in the street, I appreciate y'all. It keeps me charged up. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? So, who we got here, man? What's up, yo? <laughs> what's up, y'all? Chris, HL, what's going on, man? Atlanta, yo. So hold on. on, I don't see no patches in the hair, yeah, name, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, I don't see no patches in the yeah, hair. Yeah, so I'm growing my hair back, y'all. Okay. Um, thank you for all y'all supporters that I didn't even know and walked up to me. Y'all know who y'all are and was like, yo, I hope you get your stuff together. That's what I really want. Um, I had a guy come up to me the other day and was like, yo, you, you know you're famous? I'm like, what are you talking about, man? We watch you all the way from New York. I'm like, okay, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, um, yo, update is I talked to my brother. Uh, what? Yeah, y'all. Yo. What? Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 Hey. I to my brother, man. So I, okay. I talked to my brother. And, and I, so what? What happened? Yo. So basically, it was like you know, uh, I went down to the Peacock. I've been going down to the down there on Auburn to the club. You know. Um, Shout out to so, the Royal sober. Peacock. So so I've been I've been sober. Right. Since. Uh, Two days now. Right, because you've been at the ARC, right? Been at the ARC. Okay. But like I was telling, like I was telling, when I saw y'all, let me know. Let me, let me, let me tell y'all the truth. So okay. when I saw it last time we, we talked, mm -hmm. I talked to my son's mother. I talked to my, I, I talked to everybody. Y'all, oh mind you, hold on. So this is the last time when I dropped you off see, at the place see, or whatever. I got a phone now. So you got a phone hey, a, coming hey, up? Hey, hold on, hold on. It, it's, it's, only, it's a flip phone now, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> don't matter. Yeah, on it, right. <laughs> okay, so so, um, so you so, talk to your so son, let's, mom. Let, let's start. Let me see. So the last interview that he did, he was like, yo, but Chris, you know, if I give you these $10, you know, the thing is, are you going to go get high? And, you know, I was determined not to get high. All right, so I ain't going to lie. Um, I was at the doctor. He dropped me off where I get my, my HIV medicine from. Mm -hmm. You know yep. what I'm saying? And, uh, and I, got my, I got my meds. Um, so I, had, I, was, I, was, I was going to go in there, but my mental health appointment wasn't until 1.00. Okay. So I said, okay. F when he dropped me off around eleven or twelve. Yeah, it was a couple hours it was early. A couple hours early. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm just gonna sit in here and chill. So my dumb ass said, okay, you know what? Let me run over to the Hope House. I got time to see if I can get the uh, HIV housing. I get there and they tell me that they're at their capacity. Okay, fine. So now uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm in my mind, I'm pissed. I don't still don't want no drugs. I said, let me go get a beer. Okay. So I walk to the gas station. I go get me a little margarita thing. I see my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, no, I stopped at Wendy's and bought a, um, a Frosty. Okay. You know, I'm trying to spend the money before I, <laughs> before you spend it on, come. on the you know dope, right? <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, I eat the Frosty. Um, I go to my, I go, I go, go, go get me a beer. I see my homeboy, and being when they see the homeboy, see the devil work in mysterious ways, and that's why, that's why I have to stay sober and stay in that word and stay in whatever I believe in or whatever's out there because. You have to be smart about these triggers. So what happened? You saw so, your so, homeboy? So I seen my homeboy. First thing he do is, you know, um, you just got out. Here you go. So I wasn't really, you know, I put it in my mouth. Let me go handle my business. Once that taste gets into your... So so that's like a little rock, basically, that yeah, he gave you. Yeah, yeah, little, 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 little piece. Pick just, me up. Little piece to... Yeah, we got to get... To me, it's gotta, like, gotta, get them started. Right, Let's right, get them right, started, right, right. Get them all up. <laughs> okay. Let's get them started. So, so, goddamn so, he's when you say your homeboy, you mean... Your homeboy that got the the plug, basically. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, yeah. Okay. So anyway, make. A well, list. I mean, the people need to know. Yeah, yeah. You got streets of Atlanta. Yeah, homeboy. Okay. Uh, but really, it's not a homeboy. Homeboy right, won't your, do that. Your to dope you. boy, right? You right. Know what yeah. saying? So you know, I wasn't expecting it, but he gave it to me. I ain't even asked him for it. Right. But he gave it to me. Right. So I'm drinking my beer, and um, you know, I got sitting in the thing for the doc mental health appointment. Got got got. I got frustrated because it was I was early and it didn't happen till one, and they didn't want to do it early. So I said, yo. It was calling me then, y'all. The drugs was calling me at okay. that point. Okay. At that point. And, and, I'm, and I'm noticing that 
really, I, I can't do nothing. I can't drink. I can't, uh, because one thing leads to another. Right. So once you start getting inebriated, it, it becomes a slippery slope. It becomes a slippery slope. So, and so what happened? So you was sitting so there. So I'm sitting there uh, drink, drinking. Well, the beer was outside. I, I, I sat there. Go ahead, Chris. Go, go on now. Yeah, okay. So I'm sorry. Okay. It's so okay. I, 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 I relapsed. Okay, let's say I relapsed. Okay. So I, so after I relapsed, um, I seen another homegirl, and she gave me $20. Then I seen another homeboy, he gave me a grand. So I have all this goddamn dope in my mouth. And I'm walking around, you know, but I'm not dumpster diving because I don't want to do that shit no more. I don't want to go backwards. So finally about two, that dope, that was like maybe two o'clock in the, two o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon. That dope lasted me two mother two o'clock the next morning. Mm. And literally I was like, you know what? What made me change my mind is when I was out the dope, I went to my homeboys. <laughs> the plugs mm -hmm. and I was asking him I said yo man hold on hold on excuse me y'all um so I, I went to the plugs and I and I was asking them for some credit yo can I can I get something to, to I come, come right up, to get some money to right come up one dude was trying to give me a bunch of lighters to come up on big dog uh uh you good my boy yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm not a lighter seller so I was like nah bro can you just give me a piece of dope no I can't give you no dope but I'll give you some lighters you can come up with the lighters and then come buy some dope I, nah, I keep your lighters I'm good keep your lighters I'm good so then I went to my real plug my good plug right who I used to sell TVs to bikes and all that and I just knew he was gonna get break me on proper he gave me a small tiny crumb I took them crumbs and I went and smoked them crumbs then I went back to where the parking lot where I got um, beat up at beat up at mm -hmm. and uh i made my mind up right then that i didn't want it i was like man fuck this shit i'm gonna go to sleep and start over in the morning and that's what i did and uh ever since then i've been sober i've been clean okay um um like i said i got a roof over my head now i don't know if i told y'all that yeah you at the arc you yeah, said the arc i'm at yeah, arc yeah congrats pad, on that pad paid for my y'all those y'all that don't know about pad find out all right. I yeah, told Pat, my, yeah, you told us on the last interview. Okay, Pat well, paid Pat, for, yeah, um, so actually my parole officer came over there. They've confirmed that I stayed there. They transferred my parole. My pro, well, I'm, on, I'm on parole. I'm on probation now. Um, so probation called me today, and they was like, okay, did the officer come up there? So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I told him about Pad, and she was like, Pad? She's like, people keep telling me about this Pad. What is Pad? And I'm like, look, I told her, explained to her, I said, look, you a law enforcement officer. I explained to her the whole details and she was really proud and she was like supporting what I'm doing. And I even told her about my man. I told her about streets <laughs> goddamn Atlanta. And blah 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 blah. Excuse me, man. Hey up? man, we, we busy in the right now. Alright, what's up? Yeah. I know I know you, but I'm busy. I'll talk to you. Yeah, I mean, so anyway, um, yo, everything everything is going good. Um so my brother, I talked to my brother. Okay, so tell us about my brother, that. man. That shit went great. It went on uh, just hearing his voice. Um I already got confirmation from my mom why he doesn't answer the phone because uh he, he's busy. He's, he's busy. We ain't gonna say no more names because right, 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 right. Yeah, we gotta say brother, names. But my, but we right. know my brother was. Um, it's an emotional thing to me. And yeah, I told that him, was one of the the focal right. points of your story. Right, yeah, right, right. So I just so I talked to my brother. And my so brother. what was that conversation like? It felt good, man. It feel. It feel. I feel so much better. I feel that. Uh, you know, man. That uh, my my brother's gonna be my brother, man. He's gonna be. He, he gonna do his thing. He gonna do his thing. For him. He's gonna do what he loves for him. Regardless of that, and I gotta do what I need for me, and then me, me and him could get together. So and be did, brothers did, again. I mean, did like, he hear about the interviews? Oh and my all god, that? he yo, he. La I mean, it's like yo. My, let me tell you about this. <laughs> he was like yo, and he told my mom, and you know, my mom. We talked about what my mother said before, but uh -huh. my brother was like, look, you know, Chris, Chris don't fuck with us. If Chris gonna do something, he gonna do it big. <laughs> and nigga, you blew up the internet. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what you mean? He said, nigga, I've heard from people that I haven't known for 20 years. I haven't heard from 20 years. All people are calling me. And then, and all this, I was like, so I was he, like what? He was like, yeah, man. So, you know, he was like, I hope you get your shit together. And I told him, I said, look, man, this is where I'm at. Blah, blah, blah. I said, but look, I can't bring food from the outside. So can I work with you or help you with your house, you know, whatever you're doing, um, and, you know, just for a little money to use the vending machine. I know he going to feed me throughout the day. Right. But your vending machine, so I can use the vending machine. I don't need it for no rent. And, and, and really, yeah, he dropped me off. He dropped me off or, or, or however the case may go, but I needed a little money just for rent so I won't have to be going out here, leaving the place all the food. Because that, that, that opens up doors. Right, right, so, right. So, you know, he said, look, I got your number. He said, I'll give you a call. I told him about, I made a deal with Pad um, about the little withdrawal, you know, fight with the struggle. And they said, well, let's make a deal. They said, uh, if you feel like that in 30 days since your rent's made, I will put you in the Salvation Army. 
for six months. Okay. Where you can work there, you can, but you can't have a phone. And I thought about it to myself. I said, damn, I need a phone to get to contact. And then I thought about it when I went to lay down the other day. I said, shit, I ain't been having no fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So look, so man, the moral of the story is this. I want to thank my man here. Like I said, this is the truth right here. That's what that's what I call him. You know what I'm saying? The interview. I want to thank for what he do because y'all, the city of the world and other people around the world, the, and even my probation, probation officer said the same. People need to know what's going on in Atlanta. Y'all need to know. This is the shit that you know that, that, that y'all don't know about. You know what I'm mm. saying? Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not uh, emotional right now. Um, it's great. I, I talked to my my my, my son's mother. Uh, unfortunately, right now, and we talked about the reason. And when you asked me them questions about my son, and I told my baby mom, but why my, why I don't have feel emotional about my kids? Right. And I explained to you then was because I know my kids are taken care of. Right. They got a great mother. None of my kids' mother. All four of my children. Don't come from smokers or drug users. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I ain't right. I mean, no, I, no, no crackheads or, or smoke, however you want to do it. No, my okay. kids don't come from no crackheads. So I know my kids are going to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? So It ain't about them being taken care of, though, Chris. But I know. I know the feeling. I, but, but what I'm trying to explain is mm-hmm. I know my kids love me because my, my son was the number one, one number one person when I got out was cash at me. You know, making sure I had to right. stay, making sure I had to and so And so it's not, it's not even about whether or not they love you. It's not about whether or not they was taken care of. It's the relationship we have. Our relationship is bonded. I'm and talking about the reason why I was so emotional was because of the emotion, the, 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 the relationship between me and my brother. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. Which and was frayed in your mind. Right. Right. So, so I get that. I get that. I, You know, I think we still kind of miss each other on the points about the son. Because the point that I'm making about it isn't more so about whether he was taken care of. It's more so about you acknowledging that not being in his life may have caused some level of trauma. So who's not being who like? My kids? And yes. Well, actually, it could be. Because now, I come to find out my son is in Gwinnett County Jail. And, uh, and Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so... So, it, so now it, he it, needs th- me. Th- there is trauma when a parent abandons their responsibility as a parent. Yeah, and yeah. so that—that's what I was more so was trying to there, get you to yeah, and, okay. to take a look at and think about, you okay. know. Okay. Uh, but I'm glad to hear that you talked to your son's mom, and I am just ecstatic about the fact that you finally talked to your brother. Uh, wanna, oh I my goodness! See him, though, y'all, I do want to see my brother, and it's coming. It's coming. When I so, see so, brother, so you talked to him. You haven't physically seen him. I haven't physically seen him. Okay, no, he's okay, busy. okay. He's busy. I get it. I get he's it. Busy. My, my brother don't play no game. He's busy. When he, when he, when he don't answer that phone, you gotta be yo. on that square out here, man. Yo, it's tough out here. I listen. When you're an entrepreneur, a business owner, things go up and down, and you, you don't have, you don't have the room to play around. Right. There's no right. guaranteed check coming. So you right. either you either make the money you make or sure you don't. Shit is getting done. Yeah, that's it. So on, on a time limit too. Yep. That's that's yep. number so. one thing he's on. You know, time, time. Listen, but Chris. Yeah, yo, so I'm gonna when I, when that time comes. Now look, y'all, I might not see y'all in a, in a, in a for a while because I'm not gonna lie. I just ran into him. I didn't come look for him. I just absolutely ran from him. I mean, ran into him because I was over here uh, doing something else. Right. And I, you know, I just bumped into him. It's God. Right. And and and, and make a long story short. I'm gonna take a break week from this because I told somebody else that yo, he's seen my videos. He's like, but this is what I want you to do. He said, take 30 days. Cause me, yes. this week, the week, or other week, every other week, you know, I'm glad we got an update. But right. I want y'all to see me in 30 days. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? See a whole transformation. The whole transformation gonna be done. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> gonna be looking like look, one look, of the barges. Look, 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 gonna be looking like the. I'm you got you a little, got you a little happy weight. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, so man. oh yeah, so also I got gonna be um, looking like the fifth of bars. I got some things going on with this uh, with this lawsuit about the parking lot thing. Okay. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, that that's in the he will be arrested for aggravated assault. Um, and also I got a claim number from their insurance company. Um, they wanna they wanna see if it's in the policy of. And, and I'm like, what, what do you mean in the policy? They're gonna try to offer you a low ball offer amount, me some man. Low ball amount, but I'm trying to get to an attorney. So, you know, those y'all, you know, I can't might got know. might got a, a link to an attorney. Y'all hit yeah, up Chris. Yeah, yeah. Well, then you know what? But again, I, I thought about it. I said, shit, I know some drug dealers that have attorneys, but I really don't <laughs> want to go. To say, <laughs> those are different attorneys, Chris. Those are different no attorneys. They, they, involved. Well, nah, but you want an expert that's expert at yeah, yeah, lawsuits. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, and specifically one that is. Used to uh, uh, suing big companies. Right, right. All right yo, so. yo, I love y'all. 
Are we, are we done? Yeah, yeah. Listen, we gonna catch up in thirty Yo, days, I man. Lo- I love. I know where you at. So, I, and I got your ain't phone no worries. number. Yeah, you sure do. I got do. a phone number, and um, you sure do now. <laughs> Yo, I, I, yo, yo, thank y'all for everything that y'all, whoever was out there, I, somebody prayed, because I remember one lady said, yo, she went home, she told her husband, she said, that's the guy on, uh, on, 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 on streets of Atlanta, and she went, she, she walked, and she stopped, and then she, she went in her breast, she gave me some money, and she said, I didn't even ask, she said, uh, I hope you get in touch with your brother, and do what you gotta do before it's too late. That's what she said. And here we are. And here we are. Just, just so talk to your to, brother. I talk to my looking brother. better. Right. Listen, man. I love it, man. Right. I love it. All right. Well, Streets listen, Chris. We appreciate you. Definitely wish nothing but the best. All right. All right, yo. My boy. Peace. <laughs>